Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how to use the MNOVA PhysChem plugin. It's a short clip that shows you how to predict the physico-chemical properties of your structures. This plugin is the result of a collaboration between Origenis and Mestrelab Research. Mestrelab's track record for developing highly popular and widely adopted scientific software tools combines with feedback from its large user base and the originist know-how and excellence in drug design to predict structural properties. The most common structural properties are included within MNOVA with your PhysChem license. For some special properties you will need to purchase a separate license. The first thing I'm going to do is open a structure file in MNOVA. In this case I just need to go to File and retrieve the MOL file of Celebrex Structure. I'm using the recent files section, however you can always browse the file on the computer. As you can see, the structure is automatically opened in MNOVA's Molecule tab. Now open the Compounds table using the button located on the menu bar. In this table we can see the molecule and the list of the common properties we can calculate. Now we just need to press the PhysChem button to display the values of all these basic properties in one go. An added feature of this tool is the ability to calculate the atom contribution. To obtain this just click on any of the properties and the atom contribution for a particular property will be displayed using different colours. You can easily see the atoms contributing more to the property value coloured in blue and red. They will be displayed in grey when the atoms hardly contribute. We can also report these properties values just by clicking the report button to see them all in MNOVA's main window. You can see highlighted in blue the property we want to report and its atom contribution or change it to the desired one as a kind of a dynamic report. The MNOVA PhysChem module can also load a batch of molecules by opening an SDF file. So open a new document in MNOVA and load the SDF file. In this case we got 10 different molecules. Using the In Columns button, we can display the properties also in columns. As we saw before, you can select any of the properties and display the atom contribution. If, for instance, we select three molecules, we can report these three on the main window. Then we can resize and refit them around the screen as we wish. If you want to report all the properties for a particular molecule of the batch, highlight it, click Report and click on Selected Row. If you just highlight a molecule, you will just get the report on that selected property. Up to here, we've only dealt with the basic properties package. MNOVA PhysChem also provides what we have called special properties, for which you need a separate license. Just to show briefly that having this separate license, we can open a new document, load a molecule, I'm using the Celebrex molecule again. Click on the PhysChem properties and report the properties as we saw before. This time we can see values for these special properties. I hope this has been useful to you. If you need more information, just get in touch with us. Goodbye until the next time.